Welcome beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Um, so, I'm gonna try to get to the point because I have so much to show you guys, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you need to follow me like right now, okay? If you've been following me, you know that my current obsession is Ross. No, this is not sponsored, but please, Hook me up. <laughs> if you're seeing this, hook me up, okay? Because I have a really weird obsession. Before we get started, I always get asked like, oh, give me tips on Ross, I never find anything. I only have two tips. The first one, do not go to the same Ross every single time. Chain shop stores, there's so many Rosses like, all over the place um wherever you are if you're in the mood oh, i just want to stop by ross or there's a ross right, right there's a ross right there let me just go in um definitely switch it up they do carry pretty much the same thing but maybe not in your size i don't know maybe better lighting <laughs> i'm not sure really but my first recommendation is that do not go to the first to the same ross every single time second tip is go to the junior section do not waste your time in women you're not gonna find anything cute. It's like old lady stuff. Unless you're going for like jeans, maybe workout stuff. But aside from that, go to the junior section. And of course, if you're not in junior sizing, which I'm assuming you're not, just size up. And you never know. Maybe if it's a tight dress, you'll still fit in a small. You will be surprised. My last tip is look at every single size don't be like oh i'm a medium i'm gonna just check out the medium the medium i didn't find anything no check small medium large extra large plus size you don't you literally never know um you can find super cute like sweaters i'm gonna show you guys jackets things that you can put over cover-ups dresses that you can put a belt like the one i'm wearing seriously go to the junior section and check every single size the junior section is pretty small so you'll be done super quick and i promise you you're gonna find really cute stuff like the ones i'm gonna show you guys today let's go so this dress i'm wearing i was actually wearing it yesterday reason why i'm doing the video um it's super cute super soft it's like cotton i don't know the material it was only 6.99 it was on major sales it was on like the clearance junior section um i paired up with a belt and cute little short heels that you can't see um it has a slip on the side if you take out the belt it will be a super cute loose dress that you can also wear as a cover-up okay the second dress i'm wearing is very similar to the other one but the top is completely different it's still super flattering on the boobs super soft and you can wear it with a cute cover-up that i also got at ross for comfy maybe around the house or maybe after a beach day you want to get more comfortable you can wear this knit um i don't know what this really called shawl sweater i don't know um you can wear this on top of it and it's super cute and comfy still on the dresses i got this dress for 10.99 it's super freaking cute i actually did get a small um i think a medium maybe would have fit my boobs a little bit better but still fits my body boobs it's also adjustable on the straps which i love and also makes my five month baby bump cute um, I like to pair it with like another sweater um, to be more comfy if I'm around the house or if the temperature goes down. So this is a super cute option. I love rompers um, for everything. Honestly, I think it's so quick to put it on and ride. Maybe style it with some jewelry, different shoes, and you can either dress it up or dress it down. Um, this romper in particular, I was thinking about breastfeeding, like postpartum. Um, I did already wear it i love it fits my baby bump perfectly fine um and super soft i love the length also because you can see the shoes is like cropped um but yeah this is this this other look that i really love it's a plain tight black dress i normally don't like to wear tight stuff never have not my thing um but i guess being pregnant does give you that little extra pass of wearing something tight and still looking cute um so i'm pairing this black dress it was i think it was three three ninety nine pretty sure it was three ninety nine it's a plain tight black dress and this super cute brown knitted like sweater thing that somebody please just comment below what the hell these are called because 
<laughs> I'm screwing this up. I'm definitely not a fashionista. Now I'm gonna show you guys two jackets that I fell in love with. Um, of course, fall is or we're already in fall, I'm not sure. But winter, whatever it is, the cold is approaching. I'm not sure where you guys are, are, but I'm in Florida, it doesn't really get cold. But when it does, literally, the second it gets under 70, we're like freezing. We can't handle the cold, wind, or anything. So I wanted to grab two cute little jackets, either raincoat-ish style, you know what I mean? Wearing these two jackets with um, a tight black romper that I actually got a pretty little thing. I would probably wear this with like a longer necklace and like high top Adidas or Nikes or something like that, super cool, super trendy. Um, and it makes my bump look bomb. Um, both jackets were $10.99, so this is a freaking steal. Okay, this dress, I was a little skeptical. I haven't even taken out the tag, it was $9.99. Um, I was a skeptical because it is kind of loose. Um, and I got a size large in the junior, which is usually a little bit bigger for like a somewhat tight dress. But I love the material, love the color, love that it was kind of like rouge, rouge, I don't know how to say it um, in English. But it's kind of like wrinkly, I don't know, freaking, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, right? Salomon, in serio. Hijo, por favor. Part, so it's gonna allow my bump to grow and still look super freaking cute love the length and also I was thinking postpartum the V cut at the front is so easy to just woo, bust the boob out and baby's being fed so the good thing about Ross is that you can literally take everything home and then return whatever you didn't like so that's what I usually do so yeah so this dress is so freaking cute so far my favorite I'm definitely keeping it what do you guys think this look that I'm gonna show you guys, I love. The top is actually from Boohoo. Um, it's super light, it is long sleeve, but it's very, very see-through and light. And I purposely bought it for not particularly this outfit, because I didn't know I was gonna find this at Ross, but I did get it for a similar like look that I saw like in school. By the way, Pinterest is my spot. So that's where I get like some outfit inspiration. They did have this dress in a size small, which I think it, it, it would have fit a little bit better, but I wanted to go for the medium because I kind of like the, the loose look of it and it allows my belly to grow and to wear a postpartum and now and during and the whole freaking thing. The material is like a soft linen, you guys. I swear I'm not lying, it's like a soft linen. So freaking good, so freaking cute. So happy about this find. Now I'm gonna show you two rompers that I paired very similar. I promise you guys, I have other belts. It's just that taking everything, all this clothes out, making sure the baby is alive and well while I record this, um, it's a lot. But I do have other belts, but just kinda so you can get the idea on how I would wear it. Like I said, I'm not a fashionista, but you know, I think it looks cute. This green one, you can't really tell, but it's a little bit see-through, making it super comfortable. So I'm not mad about that. If you wear nude underwear, you will be good. So not a big deal. Now the black one, I am freaking obsessed with it. And I can't believe it was on extra, extra clearance. The original price was $39.99, then they lowered it to $14.99, and then $9.99, and then it ended up being $6.99, and I was like, this is meant to be. I was a little bit scared to get um, to get it just because it is a small in a size junior, but it was kind of loose and I was like picturing it and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna freaking do it and I'm so happy I did because I love it so freaking much, so soft. And I love this lips on the legs. I can literally wear this with like wedges and dress it up with or without a baby bump. I think it works perfectly fine. This dress, I also got in a size large. I was also debating about this one, but it was $9.99 and I wore a very similar one for my baby shower with my first baby and I love how it fit with the bump. So you can always dress it up with heels, wedges, or cute little sandals, or if you're more my, my style, I like to wear really cute dresses with sneakers, which is probably what I'm going to do. The entire dress is completely stretchy. That's why I was like, mm, I'm not sure if a, if a large is going to fit, but it did. Love it, it's super stretchy. And of course, who doesn't love animal prints? Super cute, especially for fall. 
Now I am slowly stepping into maternity clothes. I've always been, with my first pregnancy, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not wearing those maternity clothes at all. I'm not gonna do it. As you can clearly see, you don't really need to. I do think sometimes all these maternity like brands or whatever charge way too much for something so simple that you're only gonna wear a few months, if anything. So when I was at Ross, I did get a few pieces in maternity and I'm actually wearing a maternity shirt, but not really the maternity way because I paired it with this super cute pink tie-dye skirt that is also from the junior section. This skirt was $6.99. I freaking loved it. I paired it with this maternity shirt because the maternity shirts tend to be super stretchy to fit the bump. So a the way I make the bun, I don't know, it looks cuter, it's like bigger. I, I don't know, it's probably just me. But super cute outfit too. Now straight up to maternity. The previous shirt was maternity, so what I'm wearing right now is that same shirt with maternity shorts. You guys, like, I've been missing out. Maternity shorts and maternity jeans is where it's at. I can't freaking believe it. I was wearing leggings, all day every day towards the end of my pregnancy and I should have just had this. I highly suggest going to Ross because it's like $10 so it's worth a try. I'm going to show you guys the shorts, um, the maternity shorts that I picked um, with three different shirts. The shirts are exactly the same. All the shirts were $5.99 and the shorts I think it was just like the jeans, I think it was $10.99. Last but not least, maternity skinny jeans for the win. Um, I also got a tank top. The tank top is from Felina Intimates. I actually get all my bralettes from there too. You can get a discount from Felina. You can check the description. Um, and I paired it with the Ross jeans and this cute top. I don't even know if I would call it a top. It is a little bit spring, but um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm totally okay with it. Overall, you guys, I didn't spend that much money at all. Everything was between $3.99. I think the most expensive was $12.99. And everything fits super freaking cute and i can wear it now pregnant later on in my pregnancy postpartum and like whenever i get my body back or whatever that means i'm so happy to do this try on haul for you guys so you guys can see you guys are missing out on this hidden gem be patient go to different raws go to um junior section size up and don't forget to check out the clearance section right beanie he always goes with me <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can get some cute inspo idea for fall, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow us here on Instagram so you can stay posted of what we're doing or just, you know, just check us out, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.